vlog. It is one day until Halloween and what's even scarier than that is it's less than a week away from the election. So we're gonna do some fun things in the next few days, I guess. So I decided to bring you along with me. The new guest bed is here. Do you want to see it? I really need to find a rug before I fully put this together. And I'm also getting a mattress from my mom. So can't really fully set this up until then, but. How gorgeous is this color? I don't know if it looks better in this light, but um, I wanted this room to be unique and I feel like I have a lot of pink going on in my house. My bedroom has a lot of pink and the office has a lot of pink in it they're different shades of pink but still i was like i need a cool color accent color for this room and since my bathroom is going to be green i was like i don't want to do green i'm so confused because i don't think the headboard I wonder if that's coming separately. Anyway, I went on wayfair.com just to look for beds and I saw this one and instantly I was like, yes, that is it. That's the bed. Um, it just spoke to me and I really loved it. And the headboard is really cool. Although, I don't know if that's shipping separately. This is the headboard. And that's definitely not in this box. So I need to check on that. That's kind of annoying. But yeah, I really need to find a rug that I feel. See, picking out all these things is so hard. It's so gratifying when in the end it looks good and it comes together. But it's not an easy task, especially when all this stuff is so expensive. I'm trying to find, I'm not going to pay a bunch of money for a rug in this room. Still, it's going to be like around $100. That's a lot. This bed was like $300. I'm getting a mattress for free. Then I need like bedding, pillows, blankets. I want it to be really cute in here. I need to paint the walls white. I hate doing, I hate painting. So we have a lot. There's a lot to do in this room. But it's also exciting. Yeah, it says partially delivered. So the next part, it's supposed to be here tomorrow. I just had a meeting with the design, the Dwellify design team for my bathroom and I'm very excited about it. I don't know why I'm trying to open this door. Um, so that's really exciting. They told me that the tile vendor that they work with also is interested in work in getting, working with influencers. So I might be able to get a deal on the tile as well. Like if I tag the tile company and stuff. So that would be amazing. Fingers crossed that they just caught me all the tile. Um, but Willow got a new bed. Actually, it's a new crate. Um, she's never had a crate before. But we're gonna open that and see how it is. Oh, Willow's all ready to look at her new bed. So crate, I have been wanting a crate for Willow for a long time. I just want her to have a safe space that either she can go to if she's feeling scared or she wants to rest and she wants to like really have, it's like her own room, you know, it's her space, her cave to go and feel like she can just relax and not have to worry about anything bothering her. Um, I also really want a crate for her 
for any time that I'm out of town and if anybody is watching her for me. Because anytime she's being watched, there are other dogs there. So if my sister's watching her, my sister has a dog. If my best friend is watching her, my best friend has a dog. And Willow has a little bit of resource guarding issues with dogs. And so knowing that when everybody's eating, Willow can be put in her crate and she's safe in there and there's not gonna be any fighting happening. Or anytime that one of them has to leave and if two dogs are staying in my house, um, I would prefer if Willow was in her crate just because I don't want her to get into a fight with another dog while no one's home, you know? She hasn't before gotten a fight with a dog when nobody's home but I am just, I have, an, I have anxiety, like I'm paranoid. So the company Diggs sent me their dog crate and the dog bed that goes inside the crate. So this is the bed that we're opening right now. And what I love about Diggs is their crates are super cute. I didn't want like a black wire crate for Willow. It's bougie and she deserves the best. So like, I mean, this is such a cute gray color. It matches my couch. Very nice. Let's get the box. Ah. Here's the crate and it's like got a rounded design. And they sent it to me try, to try out, so we're gonna be reviewing it for the next few days. I got Willow a medium, the 30 inches. Um, I think on the website they said technically she could have been in a small, but I want her to have space, so I chose medium. Hi, is that your new bed? I hate opening boxes. Do you fit on here? I don't know. Can you lay down? Lay down. Oh. You can change your bed. to go to a workout class that I don't want to go to. Do I ever really want to go? No, but I am really, I should be leaving right now. I'm really on the verge of making myself late and this battery is dying. So um, I'm gonna get ready really quick and I will see you when I get back. Hello, I survived my workout class. And then I got home and cleaned a bunch of stuff and now I'm tired. But I need to take this off 
because it's so tight it's hard to breathe so what am i gonna put on i put on this little set <sighs> it matches it's from target the headboard of the bed got delivered too by the way so i think i'm gonna put on a halloween movie and eat some lunch and then we can get to the bed situation i think we are gonna put on we're gonna watch all of the halloween town movies I was thinking Harry Potter, but like Harry Potter can be Christmas time or like November time movies. I'm also gonna light a candle. Turn off on TV, God. because um, I just did that. I'm worried that this headboard is going to be small looking and I'm not going to like it because it's so small because I'm pretty sure the picture that I saw was either a king or a queen and I got a full. I think this will be good. I'm excited. And it like kind of extends past the mattress. So, oh, it's so cute. Ugh, hang on. Actually, I'm gonna show you. I don't know if I wanna show it yet. Isn't this so cool? I'm so stoked. Good morning. It is November 1st. I will not be decorating for Christmas in this vlog. The next one, most likely. Not this one, though. Today, actually, I found this really cute little strip mall, you would maybe call it but it's cute and cool um actually it's not new it's new to me i found it on social media and i was like i want to go there they have a cookie shop that has uh the crookie croissant cookie and i've been wanting to try one of those so much um hopefully they don't sell out because it's already Ten fifteen. if we could be there before noon that is ideal but anyways i thought i'd drive over there and it's very nice outside and i think forcing myself to try new things and get out of the house is really what i need to do more often so that's what we're gonna do today and it'll be fun for content so exciting i'm excited a lot of times when i don't have the motivation to like get up and start getting ready and like go somewhere that I'm kind of anxious about going I turn on a podcast that I like and it really maybe just like turns off my brain and gets me going there's no new armchair anonymous though I'm going back to bed just kidding I don't even know if I have a podcast to freaking listen to now what the hell this will suffice Okay, this episode is with Anna Gold. A lot of women, like 20s to 40s, of just, this feels way harder than I thought it would. Don't you think friendship is measured so differently now with social media? Because I know that, you know, recently it was one of my best friend's birthdays, and um, I'm, I kind of was, I'm a new mom, I was having a hectic morning, with, and I was thinking like, oh God, I need to post, I need to post. And then I thought, you know what? 
I don't want to measure a friendship based on me posting for their birthday or what I say publicly. I want to measure my friendship based on me being there for this person, checking in on them at the right times and like holding up my end of the friendship. And so I, I, I chose not to post for her birthday because it was too hectic for me that day. And I just kind of hoped that that didn't hurt her feelings um, and hoped that she understood that I actually am a good friend in real life and that it shouldn't be really measured by that. Well, I think social media flattens our social circle. It creates a feed where it feels like an equal importance to like your best friend from childhood, your best friend from college, your friend from your first job, friends from your third job. And it really scrambles our idea of what friendship should feel like. Our friendship should feel like we have tears to them. We have an elite tier. the same day and I'm gonna heat up my cookie I wish I would have got more cookies but this looks fantastic should just put it in the toaster oven for like a couple minutes the toaster oven does kind of brown like cook the bottoms a little too much is there a way for it not to do that like is there something I could put under it so that it doesn't get too cooked should I just do this too I didn't eat dinner I went to my mom's house and my sister didn't want in and out burger so then everybody agreed to get Chipotle and I didn't want Chipotle so I just didn't get anything Perfection. The best Friday night plans. Um, yeah, so that's the best cookie I've ever tasted. Holy shit. Yep. Chooks in Phoenix, guys. I wish I. Fuck, I need more cookies. What other flavors were there? Red velvet. It's Saturday and my mom is forcing me into a hot yoga class. Actually, I kind of agreed to it, but then I wanted to back out today and it's really too late. She's like, make sure you bring your electrolytes, bring a change of clothes because you're going to be soaked after. I'm like, oh my God, but I'm wearing my little matching set from Aerie. I have a little bit of a tan still, slippers electrolytes and my new yoga mat. I need to cut the tag off. That would be so embarrassing. And when I get home, I will either be dead or I will feel so good. So I will let you know. I survived. I also got a pumpkin spice latte from Lola Coffee in Phoenix. It's so good. And um, I, you sweat so profusely in hot yoga, like it's disgusting. Also there's like steam, the room is steamy. So like you're just wet the whole time. And um, I was sweating off my spray tan. It's not a spray tan, it's a self tan. And also I just shaved my legs before I went. And I guess I had like little nicks or something. Cause when I looked down, when I like bent down, I saw that there was blood coming out of my legs with the sweat. So that was a little bit awkward, but now I'm gonna go take a shower. I think I'm gonna wash my hair and stuff too. 
and then I don't know what. Okay, I feel so much better now. Um, I'm going to chill while my hair dry. Chill while my hair dries. Can I speak? Um, I'm gonna put on YouTube. I feel like that should be my catchphrase. <laughs> I'm gonna put on YouTube. This is the book that I'm reading and if you like fantasy books or like being in kind of like a fantasy world but not with fairies and trolls and all that stuff like I like getting out of reality like I want my books to encompass things that are not of this world or whatever but like I just am not really into the whole fairy thing and it feels like all fantasy books are like fairies or dragons or you know these mythical creatures um but this book is it reminds me a lot of oh my god a the hunger games oh and also squid games but they are staying in like a haunted house and there are like demons and devils and ghosts and stuff and they have to compete in nine different challenges that are like the nine levels of hell or something and if they win they get like a wish come true or something but people die in it or people drop out because it gets too scary or whatever and the main character can like she has magical powers kind of and she can talk to ghosts so she has a leg up on the competition <laughs> and i think she like falls in love with a phantom or something um i just started it and i'm already like on a hunt page 127 it's really really good and it's like it keeps me like i need to keep reading type of book it's big but i think it's worth it because it's really fun and different and yeah it's like hunger games squid games like edge of your seat i like it all right time to do a little bit of cleaning I also either need to go to the grocery store or order groceries. Not sure yet, but I'm out of water and coffee creamer. The necessities.
We can either do the bedroom tonight or I'll do it tomorrow depending on what I'm feeling because the sun's going down and it's almost five. So I'm gonna take Willow on a walk and then probably finish haunting a pill house tonight and just hang out. I have no plans. So I could do the bedroom. Or we'll just wait. And you know what? Yes, this vlog was supposed to be up today. And let me explain. I have no excuse. Um, it's just when you're doing weekly vlogs, Saturday, Saturday just rolls around again so quickly. And I was like, oh fuck, it's already Saturday. So this is gonna be late. <sighs> just bear with me, okay? I'm only human. Should I watch a live stream of the Eras tour? I just went out and got a poke bowl for dinner from this place called Koibito Poke. I got spicy tuna, salmon, white rice, edamame, jalapeno, and uh, cucumber. And then an avocado on this, or yeah, an avocado that they didn't cut up, so I need to cut it up. And then a sriracha aioli, sesame seeds and this um, other sauce, what is it called? But we're going to see um, Remy Cruz has a her own poke bowl at this restaurant in LA and I keep seeing her posting about it and I was just like, I've been craving it since that. So decided to try one. Not the same restaurant though, because I'm not in LA. Oh, that's yummy. It's like a sushi bowl. I dig it. All right, so are we not gonna do our double feature tonight? Or? It's Sunday and I am going to meet my family to play pickleball. And then when I get back, hopefully I'll have energy and not be tired. Then we're gonna do the guest bedroom and I'm so excited. I have to get, I'm gonna get a nightstand from my mom's house too that I'm gonna use in there. And then I might run by Target, depending on how I'm feeling after pickleball, but got my little snacks. And I will bring you along. <laughs> comes out we'll already know the results of the election and I might not even put this in we will see but hopefully I'm happy future Devin hopefully we are feeling safe and happy um, I'm making a pot roast so I just seasoned the one side and I'm gonna flip it over in the crock pot and season the other side with onion powder pepper salt garlic powder and steak seasoning and now I'm putting a bunch of other I'm following a recipe on Instagram so oh she put a lot of pepper she's putting a lot of shit in this I am sure it will be good but I'm kind of like um oh, the fuck Starting with one beef broth, but I bought two just in case. This 
looks this is not usually how I make a roast, but my mom sent me this recipe, so we're giving it a try. Oh, All right, guys, we've made it to the moment. The moment of truth. I have the rug. So we're gonna open this up first, and then I'm gonna put the bed together. I still need to paint this room, take down the shelves. I want to get little side tables and little lamps for both sides. Some type of artwork on above the bed. I'm glad I got a full size though because a queen would take up this whole freaking room. Oh, I also need a mattress and bedding. So lots of extra, lots more work to do to this room, but it's exciting. I don't know if this rug is too small. I'm going to keep it, but. All right, guys, well, the sun is going down. It's like night. <laughs> I'm going to end this vlog so that I can edit this vlog. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave me a comment and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>